Hey everyone, in this video I'll try to demonstrate how you can use the G5020 or any Logitech mouse using G-Hub to customize your button profiles and do cool stuffs using it and there are tons of possibilities you can utilize using your mouse that is programmable and supported by G-Hub software. So at first you have to make sure that the dynamic lighting for Windows is turned off as well as make sure that the onboard memory is turned off so that the software can handle per software profile easily and it will give you a lot of room for customization and here on top of this area you will be able to switch between different profiles and you can assign different button to each software according to your need and you can also click manage profiles and uh, it will show a list of application that you will be able to uh, customize and uh, clicking here you will be able to add new software as you wish and uh, look at the software application executable file and open it to add it to the list so that's the tons of customization option available and the option will be uh, varying depending on the mouse model that you have and uh, in my case I'm using Z502 Hero and these are the options that I have so when you are in this software screen and uh, also you can download the software from Ghub website by searching in Google and I will try to add the download link in the description section as well and um, let's come back to the user interface here and if I click in this mouse icon so you will see that we have different customization options available so if uh, i go to sensitivity option you will be able to uh, set different sensitivity for each of the mouse profile and uh, the sensitivity will automatically change depending on which uh, software you are using and uh, thanks to this software because it can easily uh, recognize that and works or modifies your uh, mouse profile accordingly and this light sync option uh, will also let you select customized mouse profile uh, for each of the software profile that you use so you can uh, adjust how the color should light up on different software that you open and that can be done here and if I go to the assignment option this is where most of the button customization abilities exist so here in this section you can see that we have a lot of option like we can set different windows commands and we can have different key stroke that we can uh, mimic by press of a button and we can set different action to be performed in different software also you can set different macros to perform a series of uh, action so you can also set different system activities by selecting any option from here and to assign different button to different uh, action or assignment you will have to first select which profile you would like to uh, set this for so uh, normally the desktop default is used unless you specify any specific software and in this case let's say that you are in idle mode or you are not using any uh, software specific button profile so in this case you can uh, simply utilize these 11 customizable buttons and uh, you can switch between views by clicking here so that you can go to the side buttons and you can also uh, access the rest of the buttons like this and uh, if you want to uh, assign a function to a specific button let's say I would like to assign clipboard history to this button and uh, in this case I can create a macro and then assign this macro to this particular button so when you click on any uh, white balls you will see that it is selected like this and after then you will be able to choose which one you would like to assign this to or you can click disable to delete uh, that particular button assignment and if you click anywhere else you will be able to assign or clear everything as you wish and uh, there is another option named G shift and it allows you to add more button profiles when you keep pressed that G shift button and it allows you to add more options so that uh, you have more customization so let's say that uh, when I press and hold the G shift button I can uh, use the same left button to 
perform as the copy option and also uh, perform as the paste option as well and if I do not hold it and press that button it will let me cycle through the apps or minimize all windows so this is the cool feature I would say and this allows you to set up to 20 different button option for a particular software and uh, I think that's a lot of customization opportunity in terms of a programmable mouse so basically that's how it is going to work and uh, you can assign how the G shift button will work by uh, toggling this option and it will let you customize uh, different options here and let's say that you would like to add different macro so if you want to add macro you can click create new macro then give it a name press enter then choose between the options you can see a different uh, description it shows below so that you can understand what each option is for and if you don't want it to repeat you can click no repeat and clicking here will allow you to deselect different options like you can automate mouse clicks you can automate keystroke you can automate text typing and a lot of things are here and once you have set all of them you can simply click save and that's how it is going to work and it will appear here when you make the changes and that's it for this video I will try to make another video on specific software so that I can demonstrate how the automated mouse click works and how you can customize it for your particular software to enhance your productivity and uh, if you have any question about this please feel free to write down in the comment section below and if you like the video hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon as well as hit the like button to share this video to other YouTube viewers.